Hello guys, today's video is about a Death Breath farming build and Banshee build as well actually for Speed Farming Torment 10 for patch 2.4. Basically it's a full on pet build, okay? You see you use triple gargantuans, this giant dog and, twi and uh, yeah, maximum fetches man, as well. We get maximum 23 fetches as well into this build so it's very very good and uh, yeah, you absolutely smash it. Okay, so uh, skills man, we just got Gangtrian Homongoid here. Uh, Gargantrian's base damage got quadrupled, and the, now the uh, Shortman's Fingers damage got tripled. And we're using the Homongoid Rune for the cleave. The tooltip doesn't um, display this correctly at the moment because it's not been updated, but basically it hits like a truck. And it's great for crash clearance, it's very, very good. Excellent. On the right click, we've got Vampire Vampire Bats. This heals us using the cause of the first spider bracer, and uh, just as let us channel it away. And as we're hitting with this as well, it generates more fetches from our Transcendent spell as well. So we get your 15 pets out of it. Brilliant, it keeps us alive as well. And also procs our channeling shoulders as well. Excellent. Fetish Army Luge Dragons. Eight um, crazy fucking dudes running around, man. For 20 seconds, we have Starmail Kukri in the cube, so we can keep this up permanently. Uh, Summer Zombie Dogs Burning Dogs. Got a big AoE Flaming Aura. Um, and once again, the Zombie Dog Dogs base damage got quadrupled. And this Fire Rune is actually a lot higher than this. This got quadrupled as well, but it's not in the tooltip at the moment for some reason, because it's not updated. But all the damage is there, though. Uh, this is a chicken build as well. Uh, Hex Angry Chicken as well. Let's just run around and just. It's basically just there for speed because we're using the Memory Jewelers, um Knife and Gory Fetch for the speed increase. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo Slam Dance as well for 30% increased damage. You just drop this at Elites and just, just, just cook them in the floor, basically. Fantastic. And also, we can refresh this from SMK in the cube. Lovely. Pierce the Vault for the, just a. Just as usual, man, for the damage increasement, 20%. Compass Ritual as well for another 25, so we have to be quite close for this, but it just stacks together, it's lovely. This is a multiplier bonus, is an additive. Uh, Fierce Loyalty gives us additional dog, so it actually makes the dog hit even harder and gives us an up to 30% movement speed while we're out of combat, 15 when we're in combat. And last but not least, we're using Gruesome Feast. Uh, just when you pick up the globes, it lasts for 15 seconds and just gives us a huge damage increase. An absolutely massive damage increase. And the fifth passive has to be Midnight Feast, which is on the Hellfire Amulet here. And that gives us an extra 50% damage to the dog and the Gargantian. Brilliant. Right, let's go to cube first. Okay, we, like I said earlier, we're using the start of Kukri. So uh, any fetches that hit from a fetish army or the belt from summon from the bats will refresh the cooldown of BBV and the base room. So you've got... Permanent pets and permanent damage all the time. Mask of Jerem gives us an extra 100% pet damage as well, which is amazing. So all the pets are hitting like trucks. And the last but not least, we're using the Raw Ring Granger to make it so the Sage set gives the three set bonus. Okay, so um, this is T10 capable. And I'm doing T9 because I don't have all the kind of despair runes on all of my gear. Now what this does is it adds more main stat to your stuff. So like for instance, I've got my... Uh, where is it? Uh, my task is with a level 70, 67 gem at the moment. In here, and it's gonna be 300 and they fight it by bonus intelligence. So, basically, once I deck out all these other gear, which doesn't have it, the most shoulders doesn't have it, this doesn't have it, uh, this doesn't have it, this doesn't have it, this doesn't have it, you know what I mean? It'd be easily torment 10k point, you'll absolutely blast through it. So, yeah, once you do this, and you get just get over around about 3.3, 3.5 million sheet DPS, you, you, you go for it easily, you blast for it, you blast for it. Brent, okay, so, um. Yeah, so the cube gear there. Actual main gear, so if you want a manager's carving knife, uh, you want percent damage, int, vitality, and socket. And basically what this set does, it makes your angry chicken last 15 seconds, and you move an additional 100% movement speed, and also makes it explode quite hard as well. But most of the time, it's not there for damage, it's just there for speed. Lovely. Okay, uh, the gory French, as usual, intelligence, uh, vitality, crit, and fetish armor damage. Overall, you do want to have fetish armor damage across your shoulders, chest, and, uh, and mojo overall. I do have a better dog at the moment. But um, it, oh, for a normal torment farming, fetish is a better way to go because you have 23 of those suckers running around like lunatics. So, you know, I think that would be better. Lovely. Okay, so uh, boots, of course, say shit, man. Uh, in vitality, armor, fire bats damage. You can opt the fire bats damage to all resistance as well for more toughness if you feel like you're dying a little bit too much. Uh, we are using pox fold for int vitality and armor, and they've got a bit of cancer and spare in there as well. Basically, what this does, it does a pulsing AOE. When three or more enemies are around you, so pretty much you man, you want to be in the thick of it all the time. It's just additional DPS basically, and it works really well. It's a nice pair of pants actually. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, first ring, uh, like I said earlier, is the Torment's Finger. This ring makes your dog do double damage right now, and that with the four times base damage and the rune upgrade as well, the fire aura from the dog, it's just going to hit extremely hard. You know what I mean, it's going to hit very, very hard. So um, 
yeah, just use your CCCHD socket and uh, you want to use Bane of the Traps. So as you're really close to the enemies, it's going to proc itself and also the guards will proc it because they're cold as well. And uh, it just gives you additional damage basically. It makes it, it's, it's a great multiplier. It just makes everything hit extremely hard. Uh, we're using Belt of the Transcendence, Int Vitality, Life Percent and Armor. Like I said earlier, every time you hit with a Mana Spender, it gives you an extra pet for, for, for 60 seconds. It's basically some of the psych events. Oh. So um, as you're channeling, you can purple channel this as well. You're just going to get a load of pets. It's brilliant, and it's going to heal you all the time because of this bracer here, because of the first spider. So it's brilliant. It's a very, very good, man. So yeah, excellent belt. Uh, last for the ring is the short man's finger. Like, like I said earlier, short man's finger makes all gargantian damage. Fucking uh, goes to times three, man. So uh, it's very, very nice. And uh, we're using the enforcer here just for the brute damage of the enforcer, pet for pet damage there. And of course you want to use your man CCCHD socket. Brilliant. Lovely, lovely thing. Right, uh, of course we use the Task of Fears. This is a full themed pet build. You want Trifecta, you want Tank Speed, CCCHD, and uh, it makes our pets, at the moment, this pet attack up to 50% faster, but the ones are 42. So I'm missing 8%, which is kind of annoying. Ah! Okay, uh, you want the, the new shoulders, uh, mental channeling. So basically, as you're channeling uh, fire bats, you deal 25% increased damage, but you should get 25% reduced damage. So it actually makes you very tanky. It's actually really, really nice. I like, really like these uh, new braces. Uh, sorry, new shoulders. They're very good. So you want to use your man, Int Vitality, um, Fetish Army Damage, Zombie Dog, or Garg. It's up to you, but I do suggest probably go Fetish. This is my Firebat skill, so I don't want to change it or whatever. But even now, it's absolutely smashing. It's great. Instead of all resistance, though, you would prefer to have Life Percent. It would give you overall more toughness. Chest, of course, is the Quilla Curace. Preferably, you want Intelligence, uh, Vitality, then uh, Fetish Army Damage, Triple Sockets. Basically, what this does is, while you're uh, above X primary resource, it gives you 50% damage reduction. You've got this 50% damage reduction here, so it's absolutely sick. And you just sit there, and you know. So, as you're speeding around on the chicken, nothing's going to really gonna hurt you that much. You know, you're going to be pretty tanky. That's very, very cool. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, uh, like I said earlier, we're using the Hellfire Amulet, which has Midnight Feast on here. We're using Bane of the Powerful Gem. Every time we kill an Elite Pack, uh, we gain 20% increased damage. This is great for pets for sp uh, speed farming as well, because it's just brilliant. And also gives a bit of elite damage, well, just a punch with elites that bit quicker. You don't need a furnace on this build, because it'd be overkill. And what we've got right here now is more than a usual stat, CC, CHD, Intelligence. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Last item, of course, is Cause of the First Spider. If you're stacking fetch army damage, put this as a physical bracer. If you're going for dog, put it as fire. If you're going for gargantuan damage, put it as cold. So it's up to you, it's up to you, man. But overall, I think this would be better as a physical build because the fire bats is a physical spell. Okay, like I said earlier, it's my fire bat skit, so I don't want to re-roll it all at the moment, you know what I mean? But you feel free to chop and change and experiment. Brilliant. So basically what this does is, uh, as you're channeling fire bats, we gain 30% damage reduction, and we heal ourselves from 60 to 80,000 life per hit. It's absolutely abasables. There's my uh, current stats. But like I said earlier though, once we get the Cannon of Despair recipe on all the rest of the gear, this will easily smash T10. And you can do your bounties on this and everything. Right, so let's do a quick rift then. Pretty much what I'm doing this, I would have Nemesis Braces, but I don't have a pair on, on this, this particular character moment, so I would switch to a Shrines and all that. But pretty much I'm going to see at least two, two to three uh, drops from Death Refs. So pretty much the only time you stop is at Elite Packs. You drop uh, a Slam Dance down, you summon your Fetish Army, you start channeling, and they die. And boom, give me that triple DB. I've already found three DBs already on the first hit. Before you go though, make sure you pick up your, uh, your gruesome feast globes because this gives us cheap DPS through the fucking roof. And then just recast your chicken and off you go, you know what I mean? Don't worry about breakables, all the breakables will be busted by the chicken as well. But pretty much while you're doing this sort of farming, you want to ignore trash. You just want elite packs, you know what I mean? Unless you're doing bounty farming of course. But pretty much I'll be using this build for everything now. You know what I mean? I'll be doing this for basic refs and bounties now, all the time. Because there's a lot of T10 builds floating around at the moment that don't have Sages. You know what I mean? You might as well put the Sage set in and get yourself more DBs. Because the more DBs you have, the more Death Refs you have, the more gear you can craft in the, in town. You know what I mean? When I, on, the, on the current season, I've pretty much 90% of all of my gear has been crafted. You know, it makes the game much, much easier. You know what I mean? So if you want the good gear, play this build. And just, you know, just, just create your gear in town. It's, it's the best, best way to do it. There we go. Let's just kill these dudes here. So, I mean, it's so quick. It's so quick. There we go. Let's go to the next area. Ooh, snowy map. Oh, that's cool. It's one of the new zones. There we go. Look, no more DBs. 
So pretty much, man, if I'm playing normal torments, like normal uh, normal rifts, I just fight up to the rift guardian. I just normally go up to the rift guardian. I normally stop there. The reason is because he drops a load of mats. Then you might as well shut down the game, pick up all your blues, yellows, and whites, and uh, yeah, I may just just go back. I may just remake a new game. But to be honest, you might as well just do bounties because when you complete a bounty, you open up that cache. Especially if it's a bonus one, you get an enormous amount of mats out of it, especially on T10. T10 cases are absolutely fucking amazing. Look at these DBs are dropping. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> There's so much DB. At the moment, I am on the PTR server, so all these legends that are dropping like crazy is because of a buff. We've got this community of F buff here. So as you click on a chest like that, they just drops an absolute shitload of legendaries right now, so don't worry about that. Zoom around. At the moment, on the gem on the helm I'm using is an amethyst. What you could do, if you find that your character's tough enough, you can switch that actually to a topaz as well, actually, and get yourself just a little bit more lendries per hour, sort of thing. You know what I mean? You will be able to manage to speed farm some extra ledge out of this as well. Oh, shit, there's a leak there. I didn't fucking see it. There we go. Let's pop down there. Got cheeky go gem goblin there, but don't want that. We just want elite packs, man. There's one. So, boom. As you explode your entrance, you can actually knock back the uh, the elite as well, actually. It's kind of nice. There's more DBs there. That's a cheeky one. Actually, that might be an upgrade. I'll pick that up. This map is actually really good as well. It's really, really good. Another nice thing about the chicken form as well, you can bust through those those busted doors as well. You don't have to worry about coming out of chicken form, opening the door, and all that sort of stuff. You can just smash through the door. Very, very one of those broken doors. But you can open up chests, you can open up doors as well while in this form. It's, it's very, very good. There we go. Unfortunately, this elite's got a bit of shield in there. we go. Pick up those globes. So all the pets are just hitting like trucks. Oh my god, that was actually a double pack. I didn't fucking realise. Jesus Christ. I've just done a double pack. Go, 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 go. Boom. There we go. I did release uh, a Hell Turbo build not long ago, but that one didn't incorporate uh, the Sage set. Even though it does do T10 faster than this current build. But... Like I said earlier, if you're doing this sort of if you're doing this sort of farming, you might as well put on the sage set and just get as much stuff as possible. You may just get as much stuff as possible. Okay, I'm on the Rift Guardian now. Let's quickly kill this bro off. Make sure you're channeling. If you're channeling, you're healing yourself. There we go. Oh my main pets off tanking over there at the moment. There you go, he's down already. Lovely, lovely. So pretty much rule of thumb is if the elites are taking longer than about 20 seconds to kill, with all your pets and DPS on it. Uh, turn down the torment level. Turn turn down the torment difficulty until you get to around about around about 15, 20 seconds per elite pack. Because the reason is it becomes inefficient and you won't get as much DBs per hour. Okay, lovely. So I just stopped at the Rift Guardian there and just shut this down now because we got the match we wanted from him. And we already made on that very very quick run. We already made 34 death breaths. You know what I mean? Just that. And I didn't use no Nemesis braces. So if I was using Nemesis braces there, we probably had around about 40 or 50. But it varies from map to map. Depends what maps you get. But anyway, guys, there you go, man. That's the death breath farming build for uh, Speed Farming Torment 10 and fucking bounties. As usual, guys, if you've got any comments, stick them below and please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon in century. Take care, man. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Happy farming.